Hi, I'm Abigail Lyon, PREP's Community Technical Assistance Program Manager and proud resident of Dover, New Hampshire. Hi, I'm Trevor Matera, PREP's Special Projects Coordinator, and my family and I live in Exeter. Hi, I'm Kala Matzo, PREP's Coastal Science Program Manager, and I happily and proudly call Kittery, Maine, my home. And I'm Rachel Roulard, PREP's Executive Director and a resident of Durham. Together with our management committee, we thank you for tuning into these videos and welcome you to explore the spaces, places, and scientific data of the Piscataqua region. Keeping an eye on how well our estuaries are functioning, including how clean they are, and how the critters living in them are doing is our job. So every five years, we produce a status and trends report known as the state of our estuaries. Don't worry, this isn't meant to be a lecture or a boring science class, and there's no test at the end, we promise. But we do want to give you, our partners, fellow neighbors, taxpayers, leaders, and citizens, a chance to better understand what it is we do and what we know about this special place we all call home, the Piscataqua Region Watershed. The State of Our Estuaries report explores 23 indicators of estuary health, sort of like how blood pressure, temperature, and weight are indicators of human health. These indicators combine to give us a snapshot of how our estuaries are doing, what's good, what's not so good, and they help us understand more about our accomplishments and about the work we still need to do. These videos will give you a glimpse into the more than 5 million data points we collect and use in the report. But more importantly, it will give you a chance to hear firsthand of the important and exciting work going on in our cities and towns and by your fellow residents across the region to protect the places we all love. In addition to these videos, we have a full printed report, a citizen's action guide, a municipal leader guide, a data report, and a state-of-the-art interactive website all ready for you to explore. You'll also get a chance to hear about the latest challenges we are all facing as a community of stewards, researchers, and residents, and what we can all do collectively to help. We've made these videos for you to watch in whichever way you wish. If you like oysters and clams, watch those first. If you want to know more about nutrients or fish, then dive into those. And if you're looking to understand the big picture, you can check out the stress and resilience video. But the one thing we genuinely hope is that these videos help you to better understand the science that goes into studying our estuaries and the challenges they are facing. And we don't want to leave you hanging with the question of, now what can I do? So we'll also provide some suggestions for ways you can get involved in protecting these special places. But first, I'd like to share a little more about PREP. We are your National Estuary Program. So what does that mean? In 1987, the US Congress established the National Estuary Program under the Clean Water Act to identify, protect, and restore estuaries of national significance. Today, PREP is one of only 28 national estuary programs in the country as designated by the EPA. So that means that our Piscataqua region estuaries, the Great Bay and Hampton Seabrook estuaries, are so unique, important, and beautiful that they've been given the status of national significance. So that's a pretty big deal and something we're both grateful and proud to be a part of. But the best part of our job is being able to work with over 100 partners in our New Hampshire and Maine communities to study, explore, and protect the unique resources we have in our seacoast and watershed. The Piscataqua Region Watershed covers 52 towns, 10 in Maine, 42 in New Hampshire. The waters flow into our region from Wakefield and Acton, Maine to the north, from Candia to the west, and from Kingston to the south. All of these waters from 11 square miles converge into seven rivers and then into the Great Bay, then form the Piscataqua River, past Portsmouth, Kittery, and Newcastle, and meet the Atlantic Ocean. There are 400,000 people who call this region home, with 11,000 more coming to settle here each year. Estuaries are very special places where fresh and salt water come together. The mixing of waters creates important and valuable habitat for migratory fish, shellfish like oysters and clams, and many bird species. But estuaries are also wonderful places for us to enjoy as well. Maybe you enjoy it by fishing or hunting or hiking, or maybe by swimming, boating, or beaching. And lots of us enjoy slurping our local oysters and eating fresh lobster. In our own ways, we all benefit from and greatly appreciate the unsurpassed beauty and bounty of this place. As you'll learn from these videos, we know that the health of our estuaries has declined and that they are under increasing stress. They're also showing signs of slower recovery when hit with a major event like a big storm. 
There are a lot of things, both natural and human-made, that are contributing to this decline, and we explain more about that in these videos and in our reports. But it's not a lost cause. There are also so many things we can do to keep our estuaries healthy and resilient for future generations. Our Citizens Action Guide is for everyone and includes tips and suggestions for simple things you can do at home, in your yard, with pets and family to help keep our waters clean. And our Guide for Municipal Decision Making is for anyone who works on a municipal board, like a planning board, zoning board, or conservation commission, and provides recommendations for low-cost approaches that can be done at the community level to improve water quality, environmental, and public health. So we invite you to explore these videos, the printed reports and website with your friends, colleagues, and neighbors, anyone who lives, enjoys, or works in the Piscataqua region. We hope they help inspire dialogue and pique your curiosity to learn more. Plus, we've created an online frequently asked questions document and an Ask Our Scientist video series, so you have a chance to dive in with your questions and keep the conversation going. So please be sure to explore all the resources we've created and don't hesitate to reach out. We are here to help. Most importantly, from all of us and our families who call this place home, thank you for helping to care for our estuaries.